Hello everyone, the Three Eye Atlas saga continues and this is very interesting guys. While I have a lot of stuff to show you today, from new images, NASA images are out, the high rise images are finally out, but so many more other images, new images are out as well. And then there was this live Three Eye Atlas viewing from NASA. It had to be rescheduled one time because of clouds, so it wasn't really visible. And then during the live stream, something really strange happens, guys. I mean, this is entertaining, but on the other hand, guys, is there something out there? That's really the question. I mean, there's while they're doing this, have a look at Atlas live streaming, there's something like like the uh, the spaceship enterprise flying through the screen and nobody says anything and then shortly after it's like oops we have technical dif difficulties and live stream ended so make of this what you want it's again it is entertaining but we should not rule out other theories so NASA released the high-rise images, guys. Let's start with this before I show you the other stuff. Um, they say, they repeat their, how Avi Loeb says their official mantra that 3i Atlas is a natural comet and that they were unable to process the data until this week because of this government shutdown. We knew this, I've reported about this. Um, the high-rise image, is not even their highest resolution image that they have released. So we're only seeing um, a, fuzz, a fuzzy ball of light, basically the same that we have already seen from the Hubble telescope. There was no big news, basically, that came with the release of these high-rise images. They said about these images that were taken on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, they were taken already on October 3rd. Um, as you see them here, I'm showing them right here, fuzzy ball of light, image features a spatial resolution of 30 kilometers per pixel at 3i Atlas's distance of about 30 million kilometers. And there is spacecraft jitter during this observation period. So the light that's coming from 3i Atlas, when you look at the pictures, is somewhat smeared by several pictures, uh, pixels. But that's coming from the reconnaissance orbiter. But I also want to show you other images that are available when you look at these new images. What many people criticize, and also Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb is, that in this NASA press conference, they haven't really addressed the anomalies that 3i Atlas is definitely showing that makes it so different from a normal comet. So they should have talked about what we do not understand rather than just say, no, this is a familiar comet um, from a new birth environment. It's interstellar, it's an alien comet. They said that 3i Atlas does what comets do shed gas and dust and response to gravity. That it does this in very strange ways. Um, and also that there is always, if something enters our solar system and that is interstellar, I mean, really guys, one day it will be the aliens. Maybe they're already amongst us. Sometimes I think that. <laughs> you look at how crazy everything is. But, you know, a spacecraft, and we know this physically, collects dust, CO2, CO, and H2O, and ice is on its surface while it's basically moving through space, traveling through the cold interstellar medium. So it could also have developed this outer layer of dust mis mixed with ices, and then they supplement when it's hit by the sunlight, like comets do. So Avi Loeb says we should not judge a book by its cover because we all know and and that's a good comparison we all know about the trojan horse and how that story ended when they're making a gift at the gates and it was a wooden horse with soldiers inside and then hopefully you know the story you know what happened right it first appeared unthreatening to the guardians of the city of troy like maybe interstellar object 3i atlas guys so 
all he wants from the scientists or from NASA is, and he says, when we're watching an interstellar object and when we're monitoring it, or let's call it an interstellar visitor, we should not fall prey to traditional thinking, but we should scrutinize new interpretations. So the public resonates with science as a learning experience where the collection of evidence leads the way to new knowledge rather than reinforces variants on past knowledge. And then he quotes Sherlock Holmes, which is also interesting. There's nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. It's a critical mistake to theorize before one has data. Insensibly, one begins to twist facts to suit theories instead of theories to suit facts. So that's what Avi Loeb hopes NASA would do. Scientists should learn something new from anomalies rather than display the arrogance of expertise. And aren't we seeing this at the Campi Flegrei supervolcano in Naples in Italy right now? I'm reporting about that quite often. And I think there they could need something like that as well. Um, lots of news from there, by the way, the videos are in the end screen. At this press conference, there was no mention of the 12 anomalies that are associated with 3i Atlas. I've shown them all to you in my last video. And also we have this, and this is probably the greatest anomaly, that the mass of 3i Atlas is a million times larger, one million times larger than one of the other interstellar visitor, Womuama. And it's the, thousand times larger than that of 2i Borisov. So the other two interstellar objects that we had so far are completely different. And we have a very limited reservoir of material when it comes to interstellar visitors. So one would expect statistically that you would discover like a million objects with the mass of Oumuama or a thousand objects with the mass of Borisov before you maybe find a package that is as massive as 3i Atlas. But here we go, 3i Atlas is already here. So that's why also some draw the conclusion, unless this rare package was intentionally targeting our inner solar system. We have a 0 0.2 alignment, very, very unlikely alignment of the trajectory of 3i Atlas with the plane of the planets around the sun. So that would have made it an easy target for many NASA observatories. NASA's officials in that press conference should have at least acknowledged this unlikely fortune. So, when we look at the NASA pictures, the other pictures that we have received in the last few days from hobby astronomers are way more exciting than what we're getting from NASA. So what we can hope for the coming weeks is that larger ground-based telescopes, as well as the Hubble and Webb telescopes, will be able to characterize these jets that were discovered. Also check out my previous videos about these jets of 3i Atlas by measuring their composition, speed and mass loading rate. And then these, hopefully these facts and data will inform us without a doubt whether these jets are produced by a natural pocket of ice that are warmed by sunlight or by technological thrusters. So, when 3i Atlas is getting closest to Earth, we should know this answer probably by December 19th. So guys, I hope you like this video. There's more to come. I have a 3i Atlas playlist. Check it out and check out these videos in the end screen. If you want to support the channel, check the link in the description. You can buy me a coffee and uh, wait for the next one because there's more interesting stuff to come out. Stay safe. Bye bye.